mayonnaise. They're only £1.14 at Waitrose at the moment, so that's pretty good value, I think. In Poundland. Kind of show lip gloss. Right, there's um, a new Maybelline lip gloss. Well, new because I got it from Poundland. But, um, I don't know if they sell these in the shops over here or whether this is one that Poundland acquired. It's a, it's a lip gloss, but it's not the Baby Lips lip gloss. It's a colour show lip gloss. Uh, it hasn't got a colour on it as far as I can see. I thought I'd just do a swatch because it gives you a nice shimmery colour and it's daylight, so I'm hoping it's going to show up. You see it? Oh, I'm not sure if that's showing up. I hope so. showing up well I've tried anyway so um yeah <laughs> hope it has but... oh, do I stop it? yeah I don't know if I'm I've used this before I'd, uh, uh, badger anti bug balm it's not showing up properly is it because it's we're so washed out but um yeah I'm hoping this is gonna stop the I get bitten so much by insects I'm holding the computer out in one arm and standing on tiptoe and trying to stand under the light to get this to show up. But, oh dear. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if, I don't think this is going to be very... I can't. Sorry. I try my best, but it's impossible. I've got another one of these from Poundland. These are my favourite ones, the um, Hydro Care. They're lovely. on. They feel lovely on your lips. They're really moisturising. I like this better than the Clear Baby Lips. This is a really brilliant one. Um, I've already opened it and it's lovely. It just feels lovely. Yeah, that's nice on your lips. It's so moisturising. It's only a clear one, but um, it just feels lovely on your lips. Really nice. I go through those really quickly. Oh dear, it's warm. This is a nice bag, ten pence at Poundland. This chocolate, I'm only focusing here on the things that I keep here at my friend's house. So I should do the other things when I get home. One of these soups, Waitrose Rich and Spicy Lentil Cup, cup Soup. I haven't tried this lentil one before. It looks like a pale, washed out, greyish, beigey, brownish colour on screen, I can see. But it's a rich brown, that box. I know it doesn't really matter what colour it is, I'm just saying. This chocolate is quite nice. Vanini. Um, oh, lemon. Dark chocolate, 62% with lemon and pink pepper. Authentic bag bagure cocoa. Yeah. So that, I'll try it and get it under the light so you can see it here. Very nice chocolate from Waitrose, that is. And I got these from Waitrose as well. Tortina, dark, La Loaca, Loaca. That looks nice. Look at the embossed. Dark chocolate. I always... I never leave things in front of it long enough so that it can focus on it because I'm in a rush thinking people don't want to hear it, I'm going on too long and I'm going oh yeah I've got this, I've got that and then it's all just a, a washed out, not only is it washed out and insipid looking but it's a blur as well. <laughs> so I've got this dark hazelnut, I've not tried these before but they do look very nice. They do look nice, I like um, you know, foods that you can't get elsewhere. Nice um, tasty things, and I got the I thought the fig leaf, and the other one I got for some reason I was in a rush in boots because you know they sell these on special offer two for twenty five pounds. Oh, terrible, I know I shouldn't, can't really afford it, but I don't buy other stuff, so I didn't buy anything else today apart from just a few things in pound stretcher and pound land, but um. The other one I got, I thought I was buying the one called Pony, because I'm sure they do one called Pony, but of course it was the one, I thought that smells very scenty for a Pony one, but of course it was the Peony one, because you know they, these do unusual scents. 
I can't find the peony one. It's it's vanished. I'm sure to turn up later. <laughs> well, these face cleansers are two for a pound in Poundland. It's pretty good value because that's what I use to cleanse my face. These cat chews are from Pound Stretcher. I got these from Pound Stretcher as well. I don't seem to have those in Poundland anymore. Um, I love beauty. This is a nice colours. I like that. Hang on, I'll take it out of the packaging and um, we just. Um, oh, I'll stop it. Well, I'm getting myself sorted out. Otherwise, it's a lot of a, uh, you know, it doesn't need to be on. Oh, yes. Well, I have to be careful because when I move the laptop lid, um, after it often goes completely black. So I, I can't see what's going on. I think it's still recording, but the picture goes black. Now this badger balm, uh, anti bug balm. Yeah, it smells quite nice. I prefer the um, bugs away. Um, lotion but this is the picture on the oh, I doubt it let's see hang on let me put the light I'm coming or going oh, I don't think oh it's just fallen down makes any difference right as I was saying this is peony when I looked quick I thought oh that's the pony one but I thought it smelled too scenty to be pony I, I'd love to know what the pony because I love the smell of horses <laughs> um fig leaf it's not quite nice they're a bit sweet they're not the sort of perfumes of choice that I like I do like sweet perfumes but I like sugary sweet perfumes or I like the heavy oriental ones I'm funny like that but they're okay they're not bad and they're not terrible or anything right this is a max factor from Poundland I like the colours on there I like yellow and that limey green eyeshadow so I I might get another one of these if I um can I see what it's called? Has it actually got a name? Aqua uh, I can't see that in this light. I quit. Um whatever, I probably won't be able to get get it I'll have to uh it's sealed up so I shall have a problem getting into that I expect. I don't see. No, I shall, I've, yeah, I, well anyway, I'm sure that's pretty good. It looks like it's going to be a, a nice one, that, nice colours. At least it wasn't upside down. Thanks. There's a nice bag from Poundland. I'm sure you're interested in the bags, but bags all are all sort of, you know. And uh, I saw this the other week and didn't get it. But, um... Because I love yellow nail polish. I can't resist yellow nail polish. A Barry M. And what's this one called? It's one of those road ones. The road effect ones look. Textured. I'm not totally keen on the textured ones. They're all right. I like the... um. I've got a lovely mint one in this textured one that I haven't worn for a while. But uh, there, there it is anyway. I'm time sure was that when I looked at it earlier in the shop but I thought maybe it's not is that showing up I can't see from here but I'm looking down on it from my vantage point because it's all just blanked out right, I do remember that the nice mint coloured one that I've got by Barry M that in this textured one is called Ridley Road Ridley Road. I thought I had it down here, but I haven't. So um, yeah, but it's called Ridley Road, and uh, it's a nice. One. I've got some other couple of Barry M's down here. The Complete Dupe for Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue and the original formula, not the awful reformulated one. And this nail paint by Barry M in um, Starlet. That's a nice glittery pink one so yeah that's so i've got a yellow one to add to those barry m's now i mean i've got other yellow barry m's but this is the, the texture it looks like it's got a faint glitter sparkle in it so it might be quite nice that one be interesting to see i think it's a similar color to my lemon cream by mavala but then i've got so many 
yellow nail polishes because that's one of my my favorite color nail polishes is the yellow so as you can see with the, the SC aim to misbehave I'm treading on down here computer's lead <laughs> oh, I've got a gothic another gothic doll because I collect things but um yeah they're obviously based they're um based on the monster high but these are from Poundland this is pretty as well this is an ice princess one I haven't got her ice princess I'm going to take her if I can I'm going to take her out and oh dear. The trouble is everything's stuck the packaging of things trying to get because it's sellotape but I've done and um, you can't, yeah, she's partly obscured by the packaging, so I thought I'd take her out and have a look. Oh, her hair looks like it's a bit frizzy. Oh, and then she's stuck to the packaging with wire. Still, there's only two bits. It's not like some of them. And you try to unpack some. I haven't even unpacked any of my shopkin shoppies yet, my shoppy dolls, because um, I'm sure that they're like the Barbies. They've got so many books, because they are sold not just as toys they're sold as collector's items i'm going to take these what this wire off her of course if you played with that too much they'd just fall to pieces wouldn't they because they're so delicate but um yeah she's quite nice i expect you can untie her hair if you want to it's tied up at the back but you know she's only a pound she's quite pretty does she match me she match my sparkles. I'm sure I'm really annoying when I'm in one of my funny moods going on about does this match, does that match, but that's me. Uh, yeah. So, here we go. Ice Princess Dolly. Nothing bends. It's just, um, I've never actually gone into one of these with in depth before, but the uh, arms are quite bendy. But I, yeah. She's quite nice. She's quite pretty. I'm in a funny mood tonight. I don't know why, but I just am. <laughs> so, forgive me if you think I'm being stupid, but I'm in a funny mood tonight. I don't know why. But then I've seen far worse, so and I've seen a lot better as well. I do go off. I should just be quiet and show the, the items. She's really rustly. So yeah, she's nice. Bye. I think the badger bar might show up better in the daylight. Um, fig leaf and peony to add to my collection of Demeter. My favourite, my favourite one is Christmas in New York. But I am. Um, there's the Max Factor. I've got it open now. Let's see. Give a little. Oh, nothing's happening at all. I don't want to put my finger on it because um, I don't know if you can get. Yeah, I think these might be quite good. Yeah, I think there's going to be quite a good coverage. You see that? Take too long on this. I might have to turn the radio down. It's not because I don't like it, it's just it, it gets copyright claims on it and then people, I mean on my videos aren't monetized, I don't make anything from them, but it means some anonymous stranger is getting paid every time anyone watches one of my videos when there's a copyright claim. Um, <coughs> There's the dolls. I'll take a minute. There's the. You might be able to see them better in the daylight. The gothic doll. I had a. These cat chews. I get. Dreamies and cat chews. I get for my little friend. It comes in for some. Um, yeah, I had a. Swatch. I did. And I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Of the Barry M.
I don't know why I thought it was Antarctic Road. It's Atlantic Road. Atlantic Road, but it's the words are on there very well. It's sort of. I suppose it's because I'm more likely to think of something that's called Antar Antarctic, because I've always been interested in the Antarctic, the six months of darkness, or was it six months, is it, you know, I wouldn't want to go there. I used to think I'd want to go there, but I wouldn't want to now, I think it would be too cold. Anyhow, I'm off on my, one of my tangents again, rambling. So this is Atlantic Road, I've, I've got it in my head now, this is Antarctic Road, but no, it's Atlantic Road, and there it is, it's a textured one, and there it is next door to the Green Park Crescent by Maybelline. Not Maybelline, you see, this is what, oh, I get myself in such a state. Green Park Crescent by Nails Inc. That's Green Park Crescent, and that's Atlantic Road. And I think it's going to be the same colour as the Lemon Cream by Mavala. Um, let me take Dolly out, and then I think that will be it. This looks washed out, from what I can see, so I don't know on screen if this is going to be any good. Because it's a dull overcast today, so even though I'm here in the daylight, there's not enough light for this. Because to compensate for what it feels is lack of light, the software in this webcam lightens everything that it's recording, so everything then looks washed out. It's a, the, the camera doesn't. The camera now just makes everything much darker. So I've got different problems with with both. Since I dropped the camera, as I've said many times, since I dropped this camera, this if I try to film a video now, like if I tried to film something in here. I'll show you what I mean. I'll try and film Dolly. And usually she'd come out okay so you'd be able to see. But now, well, I mean, it's not exactly... I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, let's get her going. Oh. Oh, I see. Hang on. <laughs> Is Dolly going to do it? Dolly can do it. <laughs> I'm being daft. And see, that's very dark. And even that's not as bad as it is sometimes, so that it's all grainy. But I'm just trying to explain it, so I've got the equipment I've got to work with. The camera makes everything too dark now, so if I put a video onto Windows Live Movie Maker, I have to brighten it, lighten it with that, and then it makes it sort of glary and grain, grainy looking. And um, the webcam, anything I film with this, if it thinks there's not a decent amount of light, it washes everything out. And because it's, even though I'm near the window, because it's a dull day, oh, let me go over near the window to see if it makes a difference, because I'm facing north, even if the sun's out. You'll see her a bit better now. She's, oh, so, she's so pretty. She hasn't got any shoes on. She's a barefoot princess. She's a barefoot princess, but, um, yes, yeah, she's so pretty. Oh, dear. I'm hoping I can... I've got to go and visit a friend, and a different friend than what I usually see, and um, hopefully I can get to the beach, because um, he's near the, the beach, so if I can get over to see him, and um, anyhow, so yeah, I won't go into digress into all other things, but um, I haven't been on the, I haven't been able to get to the beach hardly at all this year. When, even on days when the weather's been good, I've had other things, problems and that to deal with, so I haven't been able to get because it's, um, it's not near me, you see. I have to uh, go there, so... Yeah, anyhow... <sighs> this has been a funny old haul, hasn't it? <laughs> but then my videos always are funny old videos, aren't they? <laughs> I suppose they're not exactly the normal people's videos. And I, cause I'm not normal, am I, so... As, as people often say to me, well, you're not normal, are you? You're not... You're not right, are you? <laughs> Why do you collect things? Well, that's not... Oh, I don't understand. Why do you want to collect it? You know, you'd have to be a fellow collector to understand. <laughs> bye, bye.
just a quick um, explanation about the copyright thing. I mean, I've at, a week, I, at last finished my Baby Lips collection video and I've uploaded it. It's on YouTube, but I haven't published it yet. Because I, uh, for one thing, I want to put them all into chapters, the different ones, and put the numbers in the description box so people can go straight to the different collections if they are interested in just one collection and not all the rest. And, um, but just in one part of the video, there is um, a pretty fly for a white guy by Kai, Kai what's her name? Mai Kadawaki. I don't know how you pronounce it, sorry, Mai Kadawaki. Mai Kadawaki. I think that's, I, I don't know how you pronounce her name, but it's probably, I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I apologise because um, two languages I wish I spoke German and Japanese, and um, she, obviously she's Japanese. M A I, her first name, I think that's pronounced Mai. Um, Kadawaki. But um, it's her version of Pretty Fly for a White Guy. And there's just a few seconds of that. Even though there's other music all the way through the video, I mean, there's music I'm playing at the beginning and the end, which I got from the YouTube audio library. And then there was a music being played, ooh, at the beginning when I recorded it. And I didn't realise that was as loud as it was. It was in, in the background as I was recording. Um, uh, by Pop Release itself, I think. And um, that was quite noticeable on there, but that never got picked up on by YouTube for copyright. Only the My Kadawaki track did, and it's, it's somebody called Avex Holdings is claiming copyright on it. But when I looked up this on uh, for other some other people's videos, there I found one. I, uh, there was quite a few videos with that particular track in its entirety being played. And not one of those people had any copyright claim. You could tell because it always comes up on Google iTunes or something. But one person did. But then it said Google had written underneath, Pretty Fly for a White Guy by... Uh, and it was somebody totally different, probably the original people that did it. But it was not my Kadawaki. So those people it looked like they're claiming copyright for somebody else even though it wasn't her, so the people who did the video should really have contested it, but um, at least the right name came up in, in Japanese on my one, but I thought, well, how come that all the other music that's in it, there's other people's music, didn't get picked on? It's like when I've done um, ones in Starbucks before now, and there'd be different music you can hear, and some of it you might be able to pick out what it is by listening to it because it's quite loud and then there's this has happened another video of mine one day there was i thought well you could tell what this is you could tell what that is and then there's a few seconds of something that's almost an unintelligible you can hardly tell what it is but that's the one that youtube picks on and claims that someone's claiming copyright on so whenever anyone listens to that particular video even though they're what they're claiming the money on you can hardly make out that's the one that Google will write underneath, YouTube, Google will write underneath, music, so-and-so, whatever, whatever. And so anyone listening to it and hearing the other music will think it's that. And then I feel I don't want to mislead people, so I've got to write an annotation in the box or put in a separate comment. Because I think, are people more likely to read the information description box and then click the more to read, to expand it? Or are they more likely to overlook that and then just see if there's any comments? So I never know whether to put it in as a comment or... This is, you know, especially when you've got anxiety like I have, and then you obsess over everything. And um, so I felt the need to write that. So, like I say, my whole videos aren't just whole videos these days. They're like little vlogs as well, or me rambling and talking. So this would be like a talky one. Oh, hang on. Why is her finger up in a point like that? That hand is pointing, and this one isn't. Oh, that's good, isn't it? She's got different exp expressions on her hat. Different, and she's got one bit of very long hair, which is 
I suppose it looks long. I might have to snip that off to make it even. Anyhow, I think I've talked long enough. <laughs> but I just wanted to make that clear because um, that's another thing where I obsess over things. I like things to be right. I like to be able to explain things properly. And then if I feel I haven't explained it clearly enough that, it, that I need to expand on it and explain it more properly again. Oh dear. <laughs> some Sainsbury's. I haven't tried them before, so I don't know what they're like. I've never had fat bread before, so I thought I'd give it a go. This has got seeds, thin seeds. Started. Okay, okay, I didn't realise it was that quick. Um, to quickly run through the rest of this haul, I got this from Sainsbury's, a nice bright yellow headband. This from Poundland. Oh, I don't you know, I just would have mainly for getting false nails, and even though I never wear them. This cute as a kitten heel, nice nail polish, can't resist yellows. This nice bag from Poundland. I can't break because I'm going to sleep in the kitchen, it says on there. Yeah, 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 things like that. Um, these are only a pound in Sainsbury's. Peanuts, raisins and milk chocolate buttons. Right, that would be good for you, isn't it? Shopkins cards. Can't resist anything Shopkins related. Hang on a moment, because I'm getting a bit warm. Hang on, I'm going to stop it and take this off because I'm hot. Hang on. Right, I believe I've already got a 27 minute... um video that's a whole video so i don't want to make it go on any longer i couldn't resist this pop-up pumpkin book and it reminds me of my little friend that comes in comes in to see me from next door and obviously you look inside there's thick pop-up things i've got a pop-up book somewhere it's a collector's item and a big bat comes out at the back and, and um there's a saw as well but this is so cute look Yeah, reminds me of my little friend that comes in. Need to understand how business works, so you know, you get some good things in Sainsbury's. And um, I've never bought anything like this before, but I couldn't resist that. It's like old fashioned, you know, I love old fashioned things. Craft, make your own like Christmas. And I got her after much kerfuffle. I had to go and ask the star um, if she wasn't where they uh, she was meant to be. And then they couldn't find her anywhere they were looking and there were the other two that were still on the shelves. And I said, well, I chose, and even though they looked the same, I chose her specially and because um, I thought she looked a little bit nicer. So anyway, someone else went and found her because the, the boy that so, um, put her away wasn't there tonight. So the member of staff that, that um, you know, did it, but that someone else came and got the key and unlocked it. So yes, here we are, I've got her at last. Let me see if I can do a nice recording with my camera. Uh, so it's a bit dark in here, so I probably won't be able to, but I'll try. Yes. Tinkerbell, she's lovely. I, I collect Tinkerbell. And she's mine. Yes, yeah, so I'll add that little bit in or stick it in all being well. And um, Tinkerbell's waving bye bye. I am nuts, I know I am, but it's in an innocent way, so bye. Saying, it's a funny sort of wave though, isn't it? Look, I hope you can see her because she's lovely. Hey, shoppy Shopkins. Look at a nice sparkle on there, so the glitter. That's so pretty. I oh, so that's so pretty. Love Shopkins. Yeah. Nice bright, limey, sort of almost neon yellow. So I hope that's showing up. I'm holding it up under the light. I don't know if you're getting the colour of it, but it is really, really nice. Let me see that. This is um from the magazine. It was a uh, free. I've, in, um, I've 
in this thing in Sainsbury's. I love the old-fashioned things like this for Christmas. They're so nice. Oh, they've got reflections going on. Oh, dear. I don't know what to get so that it records okay. But see those little reindeer? Isn't that sweet? So cute. I think we've just got a reflection of the camera here. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. Tinkerbell, she's lovely. I, I collect Tinkerbell. And she's mine. Not sure if I've included this in my haul, but I will anyway. I've got the Dr. Rescue Berries um, Soothing Sorbet at last. There's a swatch. I have already shown this in my Baby Lips collection video, but it's um, it's not bad. It's quite good for um, a Dr. Rescue. And um, unlike the American version, the other stick on label, we get the um, see through packaging. Another inconsistency with Maybelline, not complaining because I do like these see through packaging, but it's a boring sort of colour scheme. There's nothing special, nothing nice about it as such, but the actual lip balm itself is okay. Right. Um, I do prefer the orangey ones, I must admit, but um, it's, it's not just too bad, it's quite nice. I had to focus the camera on the sky, otherwise it kept turning itself off because the batteries are going again. <laughs> I thought you might appreciate seeing the garden at my friends. I stay here for a while sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs>